helping to explain or further clarify things on the question marks and exclamation points with citations bubble under the MLA practice on No Red Ink. So with all of your No Red Ink, you can always click in to see this little lesson that would kind of like be what will come from a grammar textbook. So I'll use it and then we'll go through a couple problems together. So you've obviously done a good job dealing with quotations that are just dealing with periods so far because otherwise this bubble wouldn't be unlocked but things start getting a little bit more confusing once we add in some different types of punctuation like question marks and exclamation points so the first thing you have to do is figure out if that question mark or exclamation mark belongs with the quoted material so for example here we have why should I help you if you don't know how to cook? This is a question that's been asked in the original source material. So we want to include that question mark within the quotation marks because it's part of that quotation from the source material. Then we go on with our citation. So our author's last name, space, page number within our parentheses with a period at the end. Now, if the question mark wasn't relating to what is being quoted and it was instead a question that the essay was pondering, so for example, did he just say, quotation marks, I want to go to the movie in quotation marks, then that question mark would go on the outside because the whole sentence is a question of itself versus here with this example we have a statement with a question included because they're still making the statement that the old man is becoming upset. So what you really have to pay attention to is just whether those punctuation marks deal with what's inside the quotes or the whole sentence. Then it might seem kind of weird but you are going to end up with maybe some double punctuation like we do in this one. We have the question mark and then the period after the citation. So let's do a couple of these together. So here we are quoting from the Hunger Games. So we have addressing District 12 Effie Trinket says cheerfully may the odds be ever in your favor and starts drawing names for the reaping. Now you can see that the quoted material is, may the odds be ever in your favor. This is something that included this exclamation mark, which we can see from the original source material up here. So we're going to want to leave that exclamation mark inside the quotation marks. So since this quote is occurring in the middle of the sentence, we still want to go to the end to do our citations. We'll do this just the same as we did before, so our opening parenthesis our last name of our author, space the page number, close parentheses, and then a period at the end. Here we have when Harry insists upon calling Voldemort, naming Voldemort out loud, Ron hisses, stop saying that name. Again, you can see that those exclamation marks are in the original source material. So we're gonna do this just like the last one, leaving those alone, adding in our Citation at the end, just the same as we've been doing. Here we've got, I didn't ask for your opinion anyway with an exclamation mark. They're keeping that, so we're doing these the exact same. So remembering to have a space in between the end of your sentence and your first parenthesis, but not after you start it. So space, parenthesis, then the author's last name space, page number, close parenthesis, and then that period with no space in between the end parenthesis and the period. Now here we're getting one that's a little bit more complicated because it's occurring at the end and it's a question. So here we have Sophie tries to cheer Liz up saying, want a piece of my cookie. Now if we look at this entire sentence as it's written in the student's essay, it's not asking us a question. It's telling us that Sophie is trying to cheer Liz up. But instead, the question is just dealing what's being asked or said by Sophie. The want a piece of my cookie. So we're going to leave that question mark inside the quotation marks. We're going to hit space. And then we're going to just add our citation. So we want, again, our author's last name, making sure that we spell it correctly. Otherwise, we will lose those points and have more problems we have to do. Close the parentheses and then a period. 
So these show you how to do all of the different types. If you still have questions, don't be afraid to email me. I'm always happy to help you guys out.